In the heart of the vast and beautiful kingdom of Nango, nestled between ancient baobab trees and sparkling rivers, there lived a princess unlike any other. Her name was Princess Zuri, and though she was known for her beauty and grace, she had one peculiar problem. She could not stop eating. From sunrise to sunset, Princess Zuri's hunger seemed endless. Plates upon plates of food were served at the royal table, but no matter how much she ate, she was never satisfied. More. She would cry as the servants rushed to bring her more roasted meats, fruits, and grains. Her father, King Marrow, grew worried. The kingdom's resources were slowly depleting, and no healer, sage, or magician could find a cure for his daughter's insatiable appetite. Desperate, the king offered a reward to anyone who could help. Many tried and failed until one day, a humble young farmer named Kito approached the palace gates. Kito dressed in simple brown tunics and sandals, was not like the others. He had no magic powers, only his wisdom and knowledge of the land. Your Majesty, Kito bowed before the king. I believe I can help Princess Zuri, but it will not be with food. It will be through understanding. Kito took the princess on a journey to the sacred hills, where the great sage, an ancient healer, lived in peace under the towering baobab trees. Princess Zuri, still longing for more food, followed, though she did not understand how a simple farmer could help her when so many others had failed. Upon reaching the sacred hills, the great sage, his long white beard swaying in the wind, spoke softly. Your hunger, princess, is not of the body, but of the soul. You must learn the true meaning of fulfillment. Though Zuri was confused by his words, she agreed to continue the journey with Kito. As they traveled through the kingdom, she saw the people living simple lives. Farmers working their fields, families sharing modest meals under the sun, children laughing and playing. For the first time, Zuri began to see the beauty in simplicity. One evening as the sun set behind the rolling hills, Kito and Princess Zuri sat under the shade of a great baobab tree. They shared a simple meal, fresh fruit, bread, and water. As they ate, Zuri looked around and felt a sense of peace she had never known before. For the first time, her heart was full, and with it, so was her stomach. She smiled at Kito, realizing that her hunger had never been about food. It had been about finding connection, purpose, and contentment. From that day on, Princess Zuri returned to her father's palace, not as the princess who couldn't stop eating, but as one who had found true fulfillment. No longer did she cry for more because her heart was full of understanding, and the kingdom of Nango thrived once again. And so, the lesson was clear. Sometimes what we seek can't be found in things or possessions, but in the simple moments of life, where the heart feels full and at peace. Until next time, dear listener, remember this story of the king's daughter who could not stop eating. May it inspire you to seek your own fulfillment in life's true treasures.